Okay, so here is the problem today. Welcome back to my channel. Really interesting and very simple math problem today and a lot of students do this common mistake and in this video I'm going to show you how can I solve this correctly and step by step. So I do want you to use your calculator right here and of course here is a problem. 3 divided by 3 divided by 3 divided by 3. No parentheses, no squares, no cubes and as you can see no fraction, only 3 and only division and I suggest you to choose an option. What do you think is a correct option? And right here in just 30 seconds we will check our answer. It will be really interesting. Of course, a lot of students out there like, yes, I can handle this, I can handle this problem, this is basic division, I learned this stuff in the third grade. But a lot of students do this common mistake and I'm going to show you the first approach how a lot of students solve it, okay? So we have 3 divided by 3 divided by 3 and divided by 3, okay? This is the first approach, a lot of students solve it like that, yeah? So they say, okay, 3 divided by 3, uh, great, this is equal to 1. And right here, 3 divided by 3 in the end, equal to, equal to 1 as well. So as a result, 1 divided by 1 equal to 1. And they say, okay, option A is the correct answer. And right now, I don't want to tell you that this is correct or incorrect. But let's try to, to work with order of operation, because obviously, whatever order we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. And for this question, I have this PMDMC order. The main popular order in the world, all internet libraries, Wolfram Alpha Scientific Graph and Calculator works according to PMDMC, yeah? And let's try to look about this order. So the first step according to PMDMC, so we have 3 divided by 3, I just rewrite this problem, 3 divided by 3 divided by 3, yeah? The first step is parentheses. So are there any parentheses? No, I don't see any of those. Exponents? I don't see any exponent. Multiplication? I don't see any multiplication sign. The next step? Division. Yeah, I see a lot of division sign right here. So this is this is really great. But what about an order of operation according to PMDMC? Yeah? If we have like your case, if you have parentheses, you need to start from parentheses. If you have exponent, you need to start from exponent. If you have multiplication and division part, this is the first step if you're talking about order, you need to go from left to right. And right here, we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right. The first sign from left to right is this division, yeah? On the left-hand side, the first sign from left to right. So the first step is to get this information about 3 divided by 3. 3 divided by 3 equal to 1, and 1 divided by 3, and divided by 3. Okay, I just read this to, to 3 in the end. Okay, the next step. We, have, we still have division, so we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right. The first sign from left to right is this division once more. So 1 divided by 3, we can easily write as a fraction, yeah? So if you write as a fraction, this is 1 third and divided by 3. So as a result, 1 over 9, yeah? 1 over 9. And if you look at the option, a is incorrect, B incorrect, C incorrect, but D is 3 to the power minus 2, this is like 3 to the power minus 2, this is 1 to over 3 squared, which is the same as right here, yeah? So a correct answer is option, option D, yeah, according to PMDMC order. This is my approach, of course, write your suggestion in comment about this, about this uh, problem. I definitely wish all the best in your mathematic adventure, definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong, okay? And if you need to learn basic math, interesting, very nice, you can easily subscribe to my channel. And of course, you can plug it into your like basic calculator, you can easily see the same answer as mine, yeah? Thank you for your time, have a great day!